Hi, I'm Nate Brown, and in this drum lesson, I'm going to teach you a Thomas Lane groove that he plays in the song Loki, and that's by the band Stork. Make sure you print out the sheet music for this so that you can follow along with the lesson, or you can find the sheet music in the June 2010 issue of Drum Magazine. In this lesson, I'm just going to go over the intro, which is four measures, but it's plenty, trust me. First, I'm going to go over the notation. So take a look at the first things written there. There's an X note head, and there's just a regular note head. That's the snare and the crash. And uh, above that, you're going to see a little, kind of like a carrot or a Pac-Man kind of thing. That is an accent. So those notes are going to be played a little louder than the others. You can accent them. The next thing written is the bass drum. And there are two bass drum notes. One is on that last line, and one... If you look further ahead, you'll see another a note, which is on the last space. What that represents um, is which foot you're going to use. This is a double bass pattern here, and if it's on the lowest line, you're going to play with the left foot, and if it's on the last space, you're going to play with the right foot. All right, I'm going to walk you through this. Count one, snare and crash. E is the bass drum. The bass drum indicated there is a left foot bass drum, but I play a right. I changed the first count um, foot pattern around a little bit to make it more comfortable for me. So one, E, and a two. Instead of left, right on that last a two, I hit right, left. One, E, and a two. On the a uh of two, you have the snare and the hi-hat. Be careful not to accent that hi-hat. You actually accent the second hi-hat. That's hard to get used to because obviously when you're hitting your hands together, you're going to want to accent that, but it makes the beat drag. You want the second hi-hat accent, so you can practice this pattern. All right, from the beginning again. One, E, and a two, E, and. And I would repeat this over and over until you become comfortable with it and gradually speed it up. One, E, and a two, E, and. One, E, and a two, E, and. Second hi hat is accented. One E N A two E N, and then keep adding on a little at a time as you become more comfortable. All right, look at the third count. Count three. You have a bass drum with the right foot. Three E and and the same thing here. Accent the second hi hat. Whenever you have this pattern of the snare and then the hi hat, you're going to accent the second hi hat. So let me play count three for you. Three E and A. Uh. Three E and a, uh. and count four is simple. Four E and a, uh. four E and a. Uh. I'm gonna play the first measure through a few times for you at 85 beats per minute. All right, the second measure. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the same thing there. You're gonna accent the second hi hat on count four. I'm gonna do that slower. One E and the two E and. Now after the snare drum, you're gonna have your left bass. Two E and a. Uh. One E and the uh, two E and the uh. three E and the uh, four E and the. Uh. I'm gonna play the second measure at 85 beats per minute for you a few times through. Once you get the first two measures down, repeat those two measures over and over very slowly until you're comfortable with them and gradually increase their speed. When I learned it, I increased the speed by five beats per minute at a time. I'm going to play measures one and two a couple times through for you at 85 beats per minute. All right, the third measure, 
One E and a two E. And again, you're going to accent the second hi hat. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. One more time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The fourth measure is in a three eight time signature. And basically, the sixteenths are going to stay the same tempo. So in um, measure three, where you had four E and a, uh, here they're still going to be same tempo. You count them differently. It would be a one and two and three and. You count eighth notes as quarter notes and sixteenth notes as eighth notes. So one and two and three and. I don't necessarily, when I'm playing it at faster tempos, count the whole thing out. One and a two and a three and a four and one and two and three and. Um, I just know that I've got three counts there. One, two, three. That's what I do. One, two, three, and then back into the beat. Let me show you what this sounds like. I'm going to repeat measures three and four at 85 beats per minute. All right, I'm going to play measures one through four, two times through at 100 beats per minute. I'm going to increase that speed and play it at 120 beats per minute. And now I'm going to play it along with the music at the normal 133 beats per minute. Yeah. 